Hi, we've begun our division unit in class and we started learning about long division. Now with the implementation of Common Core, we no longer teach the standard method of, of multiplication that we all grew up knowing and using. What we use now is something called partial products long division. So partial products long division. Okay. Now I'm going to do a couple problems and I'm going to talk to you just exactly the way that I talk to the students in class so that we're saying the same kinds of things when you're helping them at home. So the first problem that we're going to do, let's do something kind of small, uh, something like 75 divided by 3. Now the first thing you might notice is the bracket looks a little bit different than it used to look when we would do the traditional method of, of division. So it's just a bigger bracket, it goes down, because we're going to be writing our factors over here as we multiply our way through this. I like to put a little x at the top because we no longer put our answer at the top like we used to do. So what I do is, the, the beauty of partial products is that the students don't have to have all of their multiplication facts mastered. As long as they know 3 times something, even if it's just 3 times 2, they can chip away at that 75 going 3 times 2, 3 times 2, until they get to the final answer. They can get it right even though they don't know all of their facts. So let's go ahead and let's solve this. We've got 75 divided by 3, and I'm going to ask myself, I'm going to say, what do I know about 3? Well, I know that 3 times 10 is 30, so I'll write my 10 here, and I'll subtract my 30. So we're subtracting like we used to use, uh, used to do when we would do the traditional method. 5 minus nothing is 5, 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, so now I'm no longer looking at 75, I'm looking at 45. I say to myself, 3 times what gets me closer to 45? Well, you know what? I'm going to go times 10 again. I didn't even have to think. I already knew it was going to work. So 3 times 10 is 30. When I subtract my 30, once again, I get 15. Now I know 3 times something that's going to be 15. So 3 times 5 is 15. I subtract, and I get nothing. Okay? At that point, I am done. All I've got to do is add up. All of my factors over here, we've got 10, 25. 25 is the answer to this problem. Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's go a little bit bigger this time. Let's do maybe um, 163 divided by 5. Put my x up there. I can say to myself, well, I know that 5 times 8 is 40. So let's say that was the fact I knew for 5, 5 times 8. I'll put my 8 over here. I will subtract 40. Okay, now I'm looking at 123. I could say, you know what? Oh, I forgot. I know what 5 times 10 is. 5 times 10 is 50. So I will subtract 50 here. 12 minus 5, 7. Now we're looking at 73. Okay, well, I'm going to go right again with that times 10. 5 times 10 is 50. Now I'm looking at 23. I'm going to make my bracket just a little bit longer. Okay, I know that 5 times 4 is 20. So I'll put my 4 here. I subtract 20. I get 3. Now, this leftover here is smaller than my divisor, so that's when I know that I'm done. Okay, if this is smaller than the, the divisor, time to call that a remainder. So I'm going to add them all up here. I've got um, 18, 28, 32. Don't forget the remainder. Remainder... All right, and let's just do one more. Okay, let's go big this time. Let's go with, um, I don't know, 625 divided by 9. Okay, that's a pretty intimidating problem for a lot of kids, but if they know anything times 9, they can eventually get to the right answer. That's the nice thing about partial products. So we'll go 9 times 10. Use our mental math skills there. 9 times 10 is 90. Okay, so when I subtract, got to do a little regrouping here. 12 minus 9 is 3. 5 minus nothing would be 5. I'm looking at 535. Well, what if I did, hmm, what if I did 9 times 50? If I did 9 times 50, well, 9 times 5 is 45. I tack on the 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go times 50. Now, I don't have to do that. I could have done 9 times 2 over and over and over again and made this a really long, long division problem. But I know that 9 times 50 is 450. So 9 times 5 being 45, tack on the 0. We're good there. Regroup just a bit. Okay, we're looking at 85 now. All right, I know a factor. 9 times 9. 9 times 9 being 81. 
5 minus 1 being 4, 8 minus 8, zip. And we are looking at 4. 4 is less than my divisor, so it's time to call it quits here. Let me add this up. 10 and 50, 69. Remainder 4. Box that up. And that's it. That's what we're doing in class. That's called partial products, long division. And hope that helps.